Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a very cozy, beautiful winter wear haul for you, try haul and styling haul, and I have five new jackets and cards. If you've been following my channel, you know I'm obsessed with winter wear, especially jackets and cards. I have so many, it's actually getting out of control. I need to buy a separate wardrobe, a brand new wardrobe, because I don't have running out of space. But I got some really beautiful cards that I thought you would love. Plus, I think it's the perfect timing because it's been getting really, really cold in the UK. Other coats and jackets I'm about to show you are from my favourite London-based luxury coat and cashmere brand, El Copinho. And I've spoken about El Copinho so many times, so I'm sure you guys are familiar. That's all I wear all winter long, every year, year after year. They always have the most unique, beautiful designs. And they're very, very high quality, super warm, and the fits are always on point. You can't find anything similar on the high street. They have some new designs that I want to show you that I love. I'm obsessed with them, so of course I had to buy some new coats to add to my winter wardrobe this year. I'm currently wearing actually one of my old uh, tweed jackets. I think they released this one last year. They do also have blazers and lighter jackets, tweed jackets, so check them out as well. But let's start with one of my newest cards. Oh, you will love this one. I will start with the Daisy jacket. This is also one of the newest releases and it is so beautiful. A timeless classic jacket with a bit of a twist because it has the beautiful fur trim on the bottom. And to me, this is such a chic, elegant, design. I got mine in a medium large but also I could size down. I always get different sizes in El Cupini. Their coats are normally quite oversized so I don't mind um, getting a larger size as well just because I'm quite tall and as you can see it doesn't look too big on me. But some of the other jackets I'll show you there. I actually think all the other jackets I have are in a small but yeah, as we go, I'll just confirm that with you. This one is medium to large. To me, this is the perfect piece that works from early autumn to late spring. It's not very, very heavy jacket. It's perfect for the transitional period as well. But if you get it in a... Because it's like a looser design, especially if you get it in a larger size, you can definitely layer underneath. And also El Cupini has some amazing cashmere, so definitely have a look at those. This is actually a detachable fur. You can detach it and you have your classic black cropped jacket, but I really, really love the fur at the bottom. It makes it look so expensive and I just love the minimalistic classic design of this piece. So yeah, definitely one of my favourites. As you can see, I styled it with a pair of white jeans. I love monochromatic looks and especially wearing black jackets, uh, tops, jackets, coats, paired with a white pair of jeans or trousers. I think it's such a beautiful, very quiet, luxury look. I also styled this look with some Chanel accessories, my favourite Chanel sling bags and also one of my newest Chanel pearly bags. And this to me is the perfect evening look, but also you can wear this jacket a bit more casual during the day. It looks just as good. <laughs> Honestly, it's so hard for me to pick a favourite because I love all my El Copini outwear pieces, but this is very high up on the list. This is one of my favourite styles from El Copini. It might look familiar because I actually bought the same style. This is called the Jonah coat and it is pure mink. It is so... it is the warmest coat. If you're looking for something extremely warm for winter, this is it. It is a longer fit, as you can see, it covers my bum and it is so comfortable. It is again a looser fit, so you can layer underneath, it's very comfortable, but you can also cinch it in from the inside um, and you can always add a belt as well if you prefer the look with a belt. This is the ultimate card for me. I absolutely love this one. Since I bought my one last year, I've been so obsessed. You guys know if you've been watching my videos. This is all I wore. <laughs> Basically, I didn't want to take it off. It was like my uniform. Every single day I wanted to wear my 
older Jonah coat. It is in the most beautiful color, it's very neutral. You will see it later, actually, I'll show you it later because I bought something similar. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I wore it so much, I knew I would love to get it in another color. And initially I was thinking the black one, but then I was in the shop with a friend of mine and I tried, they didn't have the black one, uh, but they did have this chocolatey brown and I tried it on, I fell in love and I was like, brown? is this season's color and it actually looks so good it looks so rich it's not as harsh the black one looks a bit harsh on my skin tone although it's a classic i love the, the black as well the softer chocolatey tones also i feel suited me my complexion my hair a lot more so at the end i decided to go for this one instead of waiting for the restock of the black one and i'm so so happy i'm going to wear this every single day probably <laughs> this winter yeah let me know what you think of this one but i'm so in love and can you guys see it in in the sun as well how shiny and beautiful this fur is it's insane i'm telling you this it is a bit pricey but it's such a good investment compared to other luxury brands the price of this is so good and you'll have this forever it is perfection I have a question. Are you just as obsessed with winter white as I am? I love a good winter white look and I have the perfect card for you. This is the London jacket from Cashmere Jacket from El Copini and how cute does it look? Tell me in the comments. Isn't this the cutest little jacket you have seen? And yes, this might look familiar because yes, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> If I like something, I buy it in multiples. If it comes in different colors, I buy different colors. And yes, this might look familiar because I already have this jacket in not one, but two other colors. I have it in the beautiful, like emerald green. It is so, so stunning. And I have the classic black. And then later on, they released this one. I think, when did they release this one? I think they released it after the black one. And I was so tempted to buy it then. But I was like, no, I just got the other two. I'm going to wait. And maybe if I still want it, I'll get it next winter this i find to be very practical but cozy jacket it is designed to be very comfortable transitional jacket for the winter months but also spring again it has detachable fur collar so you can wear it plain without the collar but when you add this it just feels so cozy around your neck in the colder months and also i love the buttons it has really big pockets i always wear tiny little bags so i do appreciate the bigger pockets on the el copini jackets most designs do have a larger pocket which is great <laughs> for me personally and then i love the buttons in the same fabric let me know what you think about this look but again this is one of my favorites i think it looks so clean just a pair of white jeans my newest chanel kelly bag from the latest collection in pink and also for the shoes i picked my favorite style from Chanel, the sling bags, but they also have a little chain with pink details to match the bag. So I think I nailed this look. <laughs> Next, I have a real statement piece for you. This is something a bit more out of the ordinary for the brand. I have never seen such design. They always have very classic looking coats. This is definitely a bit more trendy, but this actually is doing so well. They told me this is one of their best sellers currently, and it is in leather, and it is the smoothest, softest, beautiful leather. It smells. Oh. It smells divine. I love the smell of good leather. So yeah, this has very big oversized shoulders. It's very trendy, cool design. I love this. I didn't think it will suit me, but actually as soon as I tried it on, I got mine in a small because it runs quite oversized. As soon as I put it on, I just loved it guys and I was like oh yeah I have to get this it's something a bit more unique I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and yeah I want to try out something different let me know your thoughts does this suit me I love how you actually close it there is a button so you close the button on the side and then you tie it 
super cool design. So I styled this actually two different ways because I wanted to challenge myself and see in how many different ways I can style a jacket like this. As I mentioned, it's something new for me. I don't have anything like this and I wanted to see how I could incorporate a piece like this in my wardrobe. And it's actually a super easy piece to wear, very versatile. You can definitely dress it down where it's a bit more casual and that's probably my favorite look because that's more me, I would say. So for the first look, I actually styled it with a plain pair of grey jeans, a straight fit with a pair of loafers and also underneath I put one of my favourite cashmere coats, guess from where? El Copini. It's from the same brand and it's the most unique green colour, it's like a greyish green, such a stunning colour. But also for the second look, let me know what you think. I actually think this jacket looks really cool with a tweed skirt, pair of dark tights and my Hermes boots. I think it's such a cool look as well. Let me know which one of the two you prefer or if you have any other ideas how I could style this. But yeah, I think I would probably end up wearing this a lot. Um, it is just easy jacket to throw on and go. And yeah, it's such a good quality, honestly. The leather is such a good quality. I'm very, very impressed. And last but definitely not least, now this is not my old Joanna coat, this is my new Alexandra coat. I know they look the same, they're the exact same colour, but this style, as you can see, is more cropped. And I thought they were different enough to add to my wardrobe and I'll tell you why. If I want to style it with a skirt, let's say, or a dress, I do prefer the look of the more cropped coat. As you can see the skirt it just looks better i will show you in the cutaways as well when i try it on how i styled it with a skirt classic black skirt pair of tights my laura pianos love love the look super comfortable but also i wanted to compare this one to my jonah coat that i got last year so you can see the difference. The other one is slightly longer, so when I actually wear it with a skirt, I feel that it doesn't, it doesn't look bad, but you can't really see the skirt, do you know what I mean? Again, let me know in the comments which coat of the two you prefer with the skirt look, but I think a cropped jacket just looks better because you can see if you're wearing a dress or a skirt underneath. I'm also pretty sure they have coats that are made to order. So if you pop into the store, they have a beautiful store. I will link it, I will link all the information down below, but they actually have a beautiful store in London. The location, it is so good. It's so easy to find. It's very close to Chanel Walton Street. But yeah, this is the Alexandra coat. I know it's very similar to the Jonah, but I want to show you the main difference is again the length also inside you can cinch this one in because it's a bit more cropped style so you don't really need to cinch it in it has the magnetic high neck you can close it up in the winter when it's really really cold you don't really need a scarf because this is so warm and also the I love that the sleeves are a bit more cropped this way you can show off your beautiful bracelets and jewellery. So yeah, I love that. I love a coat with like slightly cropped sleeves, especially on a fur coat like this. I think it really suits a more cropped uh, sleeve. So I ah, love these. I love these so much. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's styling haul. I forgot to mention in the beginning, I do have a discount card, so I'll leave it here on the screen. But again, all the information will be linked down below in the description box. Thanks so, so much for watching again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.